you guys! I'm back after a very, very long hiatus. I have so much stuff to say. I don't even... I don't even know. So much stuff's happened. Um, yeah, so I decided to jump back on here again and start filming makeup videos for you guys. Um, I'm gonna make a, a video for my other channel um, here in a little bit. I just wanted to film a makeup video and just chat because it's easier for me to do. Unfortunately, I don't have an art video up yet. Um, I don't even have one made, so it'll probably just me, be me talking about stuff that I've been working on, what I've been up to, um, yeah, and things like that. I honestly, if anybody remembers me after how long I've been gone, like, I will be very, very surprised. So, um, yeah, I bought a bunch of new makeup, um, just so I have more stuff to play with and to show you guys, and it's, like, fun, and... You know, all of that horse shit. And also, uh, my dogs are being really cute right now. They're both on the bed. My house is really dirty. I don't know if I turn, if I, you guys can see all this laundry. That's not dirty laundry. I have to fold this, and my bed's not made, and my life is in shambles. Not really, but I have a lot of cleaning and stuff to do. Um, so yeah, I wanted to get on here, um, play with some makeup. Um, I've got a bunch of new palettes to play with. I got... New foundation, uh, a bunch of blushes, uh, lip products. Like, I have been stocking up, so I have, like, new goodies. Um, I want to do, like, a bunch of, a bunch more, like, a lot more stuff with makeup, just because I enjoy it. I really do like makeup. Um, so, yeah, I got bronzers, setting sprays. Uh, I, I gotta be careful, because I had a bunch of shit fall just a little bit ago. Um... I have so many palettes we could play in. Oh my god, so many palettes. Like, that's not even all of them. I can't even grab all of them. Ugh. Urban Decay, Hard Candy, Rimmel. I just got a lot of goodies, and um, we will play in these palettes, hopefully over the next uh, few months. Um, so, yeah, and I also want to start filming... Because I put a lot of makeup on, not a lot, but I do my makeup before I go to work and maybe try to film that. That could be a disaster because I might actually end up being late to work because I get so distracted putting on makeup. And my camera is already losing batteries, so I better get started. Um, so yeah, you guys, I'm sorry I've missed you. And let's, let's get started. First off, I need to put this up because it's ridiculous. So let's do that. Okay. I am moisturized, and I don't think I'm going to do primer today. Uh. Oh, and I also want to apologize for my, boy my voice. I know I sound like a chain smoker right now, and it's because I'm just getting over a sinus infection. Uh, so, yeah. So, I'm not going to prime. I did moisturize. Um, so, yeah. I'm not going to prime be just because I'm going to the gym, and I'm going to sweat off my makeup. So I don't want to do, I don't want to put on a lot of products if I'm just going to sweat. But I am going to start off, most of my moisturizer soaked in. I normally like um, more of a slip and have it more slippery, but I think it'll be okay. I don't have to look super cute today because I'm just working out. That's the only place I'm going. So I bought this L'Oreal Infallible 24-hour uh, 24 24 fresh wear foundation. Um... I do like this stuff. It took me a while to figure out that I liked it because how you apply this really does matter. Um, I have this really, uh, it's not a cheap brush. It came in a set of Sonia Kashuk brushes, but the foundation brush sucks. Like, I love all the other brushes in the set. I think they're really pretty, but this foundation brush is awful. And I've been applying all my foundation with this brush recently because I was trying to get away from sponges. So I just wanted to see if brushes were better, and I'm sure they might be better, but not that brush. And it was making this foundation look awful. Like, it made it, like, um, like, my number one skin problem is texture. Like, I have big pores and, like, weird lines and stuff. So, I thought I hated this because it was making my, it was sitting on my skin funny, and it was just because I was using that ugly, or not ugly, that shitty-ass brush. So, um... Yeah, once I started using a sponge, I love this stuff, and it's super weird. 
So, yeah, like, my problem areas are, like, pores, and I get, like, furrow lines because I'm always scrunching my face because I'm crazy. So, yeah, and I want my sponge, so I'm just going to put some of this all over my face, and let's, let's do this. Because I'm so excited, guys. I feel like I'm really excited to start filming again. I honestly have missed this. I've missed filming videos, I missed doing a bunch of shit. And I will explain to you guys, as I do my makeup, like, what has been going on. <laughs> oh yeah, I have a bunch of paper towels over here to wipe my hands on. I get so messy when I do my makeup. It's super weird. Okay. Alright. A sponge. I don't even... This is just a normal sponge. I don't even freaking know what brand this is. I just got in a bunch of sponge kits. So, or in a kit with a bunch of sponges, so... Alright, I'm gonna blend this all over my face. I'm not gonna go super crazy with the coverage because I'm just going to the gym. And I just want to look kind of cute. I was gonna go for a run today, but it is raining and thundering and it is winter. I don't know what's happening with the world. <laughs> okay. And plus I just got over a sinus infection. I still kind of have it. So I haven't been putting a lot of foundation on my nose just because I rub it off. So. I'm not going to do a lot of coverage today, but I really do like this. It does work really good, and I want to play with a lot more drugstore foundations. Um, I only have really tried two. That's the one area I haven't ventured out on. Like, I love eyeshadow palettes and powders and stuff, but when it comes to foundations, I don't experiment enough. And I have a couple in mind that I want to buy and try out and give reviews on. But this L'Oreal, um, this new L'Oreal uh, Infallible 24-Hour Wear, I really do like it. I wear it to work, and it, it looks so natural. That's the thing I don't get. Like, when I put it on, it's pretty full coverage, kinda, it's like medium coverage, um, I wouldn't say, sorry, I sound terrible, I wouldn't say it's full coverage, you can layer it up to full coverage, cause I just put one layer, or one coat, and I still see stuff, like my little marks and freckles and stuff, so I still see those coming through, so it's not quite full coverage on one application, but you could build it, it does build really well, oh, and I got this guy too, I'll do a little review on this one and also do a review on this one because I've been using this forever um, so yeah and I want to do a bunch of I have so many ideas like there's so much stuff I want to do again I want to do favorites empties like I want to do that stuff I think it'd be fun so now I'm just gonna take some Maybelline fit me concealer um, I don't even have I took the sticker off so I don't even know what shade this is in but I'm just gonna conceal a couple of spots I'm not going to go crazy, because like I said, I'm just going to sweat. Okay. So, what have I been up to? Um, well, I think the biggest thing that I've done, and this is probably the, this is the reason why I kind of slowed down on YouTube, and I want to get back into it. Um, I got a job, and I don't need the job, because my husband makes a lot of money. Um, but the reason why I got a job, you guys, is because... Um, I've mentioned it on my YouTube channel before, but I'm a very, very highly introverted person. Like, I could be away from people for weeks and be perfectly fine and not have a problem with it. But I've kind of noticed that I need to not be that way, even though it doesn't bug me. I need to get out into the world and be in the world again and be around people again. So, um, I, because it's not healthy to be away, like away from society so much. So that's what I did. I got it for that purpose, just so I can meet people and socialize and do all that stuff again. Um, and I, f I like it. It's been really good for me, but uh, it's, t it, it's an exhausting job. Like, I pick the job where like you're on your feet all day and you're doing shit all day and I don't have as much time and I've kind of figured, I've kind of been thinking, like, how I'm going to do my YouTube stuff um, around my job, and I think I figured out how to do it. It just, 
I need to like get over the fact that I don't have as much free time to like sit on my ass. I need to actually be more productive, which I think is good for me. So, um, that's the biggest change that's happened in my life. So, if you're a super introverted person, I think all you really, you just need to remember, don't take it too far, which is what I was doing. And, I don't know. I just think it was a good choice. Um, but it wasn't necessarily a good choice for my art, because uh, I don't have as much time to do it. But you know what? I was kind of feeling, like, lost with my art for a while, and I still feel that way, but I feel like I don't have to, like, fret over not knowing what to do with my art so much, just because, cause, like, it's no longer, you know, my half of the income, so... I mean, I still have some commissions and stuff that I do, but it's not like like it used to be. So, yeah. So that's the biggest change. And I, I it's, it's kind of good because it's making my art more fun again because I don't have to, like, um, I don't have all this pressure on it anymore. Like, I have to be a certain level... And I have to produce, like, so much artwork, and I have to film so much stuff, and it's just, it's so nice. It really is. It makes, I'm, I feel like I'm so much happier, too. Okay. Alrighty, enough of that. So, I got this L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Powder. I've been experimenting with powders, because I really wanted to try to get away from Cody Airspun, because I've been looking at pictures of myself, and this is very thick and heavy, and I don't, like... I want my skin to look more natural. I don't want it to be so freaking thick and cakey looking because I do use a lot of powder and I have gotten away from that. That's the number one thing I've changed in my makeup routine is I'm using less powder and I don't bake and I don't do all that shit like I used to do. So it's it's actually really nice. Okay. How is my camera already that low on batteries? You gotta be fucking kidding me. Alright. And I do like this powder. It's, my number one skin issue is, uh, pores and fine, not fine lines. I don't really have fine lines yet, but I have big pores. And it does hide my pores a little bit. Which is good. So, and my lips are really dry. <laughs> I'm like a dry, crusty mess. Okay. And I haven't been putting as much foundation on. Like, I just like a natural, a natural looking skin look. I don't like it so heavy like I used to. And it looks so much better. And that's, there is a couple places I bake still, but that's pretty much what I do for baking. Um, or not baking, powdering. Okay. So, I'm going to put some chapstick. This is, uh, what are you? I think this is this brand is just called Chapstick in Sweet Papaya, which I have been really enjoying. So I'm gonna let this soak and hang on. Okay. So I'm gonna coat my lips in this. They are so dry. Before I do my lipstick, I really have to exfoliate my lips. I didn't realize they were this dry. It's all that thickness and stuff. Okay, so I'm gonna throw my camera back on the charger and do my brows just because it's like a thing, I guess. It's not like a thing, but it's kind of a thing. Um, where YouTube people, makeup people, do their brows and then jump back on camera, which I think I'm gonna do, because my brows are kind of boring and I need to charge my camera, so I'm gonna do that. And then I'll be back on. And then, um... Yeah, I'll be back on, and I will show you the rest. And I'll pick out a palette that we could play in, so... Right, brows, brows on. Done. Okay. So, um... I... For my brows, I just used this e.l.f. brown pencil, eyebrow pencil. And I did put a little bit of powder just to catch the fallout and stuff. Um, I've been using... You guys have seen this. I've been using this powder for a long time. It's the e.l.f. Perfect Finish HD powder. It's like pretty good for 
for baking it, I guess. Um, because it's white and, well, it's translucent. But, I mean, it's pretty good. I've, I've gone through so many of these, you guys. I need to do a product empties video. And, literally, I guarantee you, you're going to see a ton of these. And a ton of these. I've gone through so many of these. I actually have got, like, here's, like, a half-used up one. Like, I have so many of these, uh... Blossom glow highlighters that I just I go through them like crazy. I love this highlight. It is so pretty Okay, so and I got so much so much shit you guys I need to start Making these makeup videos. I just got so much shit now. It's just ridiculous. Okay, and then I did use this Revlon color stay eyeshadow primer just because the palette that I want to play in um the I've used the eyeshadows once, and they really do need a primer. Like, they need something. So, this is what I used. So, let me see if it's, like, tacky. Alright, it's tacky. Yeah, it is. And I just realized this, you guys. I have been, like, doing my makeup at this makeup mirror for, like, months now. And I always have to hunch down to do my makeup, and it kind of hurts my back. And I need to, like, make my makeup mirror higher. Like, I don't know why I haven't done that yet. And I just realized that making this makeup video that my mirror is like all kinds of jacked up. Okay. So, the palette that I want to play in is this hard candy, uh, it, um, what do you call this? It's in, it's their hemp palette. I don't know what the name of this is. Um, oh, their smoke up palette. I'm sorry, you guys. I was, I was like reading this. It says infused with hemp oil. Um, I don't know why I was, my brain was telling me that's the name of the palette, but no. It's their Smoke Out palette. Um, it's THC and CBD free. Um, so there's really not like anything crazy in here. But, uh, yeah, it's just a really pretty palette that I'm excited to use. I used it once, and out of all my palettes, this is the least used one. So, alrighty. Let's get to it, I think. First off, I know I want, I'm trying to think of what color I want to go in for the brow bone highlight. Unfortunately, I don't see any colors in here that I like for a brow bone highlight, because I like a really white highlight, and I kind of struggle with finding that highlight, but I know a palette that I can go in. So I love this palette, it's their um, Rimmel. Spice palette, it's amazing. Like, it is literally the best palette I've ever used from the drugstore ever. <laughs> but I'm not going to use this today. Um, I actually just want the white color in here because it has a really nice white. God, I sound like I'm listening to myself talk and I sound terrible. My goodness. Okay, and for some reason my camera doesn't want to stay charged. I don't understand it. It's so frustrating. <laughs> okay. So, I like to do my highlight color first, so I'm going to put it here. And I don't, uh, I don't keep it super clean because I blend in my uh, transition color into it, so if it gets kind of messy, I don't care, I just kind of smudge it under here real fast. And I hit the inner corners. And my eyes are tiny. So one thing I like to do to make them bigger is I bring my inner corner highlight like down a little bit. I have really tiny hooded eyes. So I have to do my eyeshadow a little bit differently than normal people. Which is kind of unfortunate, but you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. <laughs> I even struggle with like makeup brushes or eye pencil eye brushes um, being too big because my eyes are so tiny, which is ridiculous. Okay, so I'm done with this guy. I'm gonna put him up. Alrighty, so I'm gonna take. I need a transition color. To clean off this. This is my favorite brush. So, I think for transition, I'm going to use, oops, 
this guy right here. It's like a, a warm taupey color. And this is going to be perfect for my transition color. So I'm just, I always, like, when I do my makeup, I always like to put, like, some kind of matte taupey color in this part of my eye. It's not my crease, but it's kind of, like, above my crease. I just feel like it's a good, a good way to add some definition to your eyes without being too committed too early. <laughs> crazy like that. Like, I'm literally just going to the gym today. Which, I wear makeup everywhere I go. I wear it to work, I wear it to the gym. I just, just like it. And I have so much of it, I might as well wear it and use it everywhere I go. <laughs> <clears throat> so I think for my lid color, hmm... I use this gold color on my lid, but I don't. I want something different. I wanted to use this color, but it's not shimmery enough, and I'm gonna use it eventually. I just I don't know if I want to use it right now. Um, I'm so indecisive, and I haven't used the glitters yet. I'm kind of afraid to use the glitters. Like glitter freaks me out, cause I'm afraid I'm gonna get it in my eyeball. But I'll use them one day, just not today. I think... I think I'm gonna go in with this guy. I really need to use the greens. So, I'm gonna use my finger. I'm gonna smush it. I don't know if that's, um, overspray or what it is, but this is what it looks like. It's actually a really pretty green. So I'm gonna put that on my lid. With my finger. I really like that, you guys. That's so pretty. And these shadows are actually really pigmented, and they're really nice. I really do like this palette. I just, it's, I've bought so many palettes, and it kind of got pushed to the side. I really like that, you guys. It's so pretty. Okay. You know what's crazy? It is winter time and we're getting thunderstorms. Like, I hear thunder. It was raining all day today. And I hear thunder right now. I'm like, what is happening? It's just crazy. Okay. I don't know if you guys can hear that on the camera, but it is kind of loud. It's ridiculous. Okay. So, I kind of... Ooh, I want to try this color, but maybe on a different day. I want to take this gold and pop it right in the center of my lids just because if you have hooded eyes you gotta really emphasize your lids because you could barely see them because this part goes over so much so I mean they're not super hooded but they're hooded enough where like when my eyes are open you can't see my eyelids very much so I am going to just pop this right here right in the center it is pretty it doesn't show up a whole lot because it's so shimmery but it won't show up on camera because my camera sucks, but it'll show up in real life. I like that. It's really nice. Okay, so I think I want a little bit more contrast in here in this look. And I'm, I'm obviously my darker colors are probably these four colors right here. But I don't know. I'm so indecisive. I think what I want to do is I do like my crease to be matte but I think I'm gonna take some of this shimmery color and just work it in the crease a little bit and then maybe take this matte color and just mattify like my inner dark um, the more inner part of my crease maybe this color is pretty dark though I might be perfectly fine um, just using this guy and I don't think I want to use that big fluffy brush, I think I want to use my pencil brush. Yes, this little guy. It's probably dirty though. Yeah, that guy was pretty dirty. I had to get him cleaned off. Okay, so I'm going to take this color right here. And I have a fuzzy in my brush. Okay, 
No, I'm gonna take this. Normally I use that big, bigger brush, but I'm gonna. I want this a little more defined and in the crease, so I'm gonna put it here. And I can already tell this pencil brush isn't gonna do a great job putting it in my crease, but we'll make it work. I'm gonna blend this out. Also, if you have hooded eyes, it's kind of good to bring your shadows kind of more like curved like this. Just open your eyes up a little bit. And you don't want to overly, um, because I'm kind of making a crease. And you don't want to overly highlight your brow bone because your brow bone's already protruding so much. So you kind of want, well, I do this a lot. I like to go like this. I like to go up on my brow bone a little bit. Just because I want it to look like I have more of a lid than what I actually do. So. I'm not doing anything super crazy fancy today. Just because I, like I said a million times, I'm just going to the gym. That's kind of the shape that I normally go for. I don't know if you guys can tell. So I'm going to blend this in a little bit to make it look a little bit more natural. And then I'll see if I want anything else. I do feel like I want a little bit more color though. I have so many colors in here I need to play with. Um, okay, where are you? Fluffy brush. So I don't have anything in this brush. I'm just going to use it to blend a little bit. And these eyeshadows don't blend out the best, but they're okay. Ooh, I just thought of a really good idea for this. Green and purple. Maybe I'll pull out a purple. When it comes to my green eyeshadow looks, I like to put like a dark navy blue in the crease, or maybe I'll do both. Ooh, let's make like a purple green blue look. Ooh, my mind is like, my little hamster wheels in my mind are turning with so many ideas. <laughs> I'm gonna do it, you guys. We're gonna make this really pretty. Because this green color is very blown out right now. Do you see? That could almost be a transition color. It's not quite what I thought it was gonna be, but you know what? It's okay. A lot of times when I do my makeup, I don't just I stick I go to different palettes. Um just because I like I don't like to be completely limited to one palette. Um, which I know it might be kind of annoying, but I think the one that I want to go into next, because I think it'll probably have the colors that I want. So what I want to do is I want a purple on my lower lash line, and I want to take a dark blue, and I want to put it in my crease. It's going to be very colorful. And I think this, yep, this is going to be the palette that's going to have all of them, and it is the Urban Decay Elements palette. So, let's, I think I'm going to use this purple, and then the, this purple right here. Do they have names? Um, Hex Remedy and Sapphire Dream. So, I'm going to, first, I think I want to do, I'm going to get a angle brush. I'm going to clean the shit, of, the shit out of this thing, because my brushes are so dirty. I need to have a brush cleaning day. Okay. Let's get to it. Alright, so I'm going to take Sapphire Dream. Fuck, I was going to put this. I fucked up, you guys. I I'm going to put this in my crease. I'm just going to take whatever I have left. Okay, we're not taking Sapphire Dream because I wanted the purple to be on the lower lash line. Alright, let's do this again. Take two. We're going to take Hex Remedy and we're going to put it on my lower lash line. And I don't like to smoke out my lower lash line because my eyes are so tiny. Um, and oh, my camera's almost dead. But throughout the day, it kind of smokes out itself, so it's okay. <laughs> 
Okay guys, so my camera actually died and I needed, I needed to let it charge for a little bit. So I did a couple things off camera. I just scrubbed my lips and put um, more chapstick on. So my lips are good so I can do those now. And uh, for the eyeshadows, all I really did was take that blue color and I put it in my crease and I blended it out a little bit. And I put a little bit more of that green color just to kind of get my, because I kind of um, put that blue color over my crease and I kind of reinforced my crease a little bit and just put a little bit more of that gold on the center of my lid. So that's all I did. And that's what we have so far. I don't know if you guys could tell. I'm going to take pictures. Um, so yeah, it's really important for me with like my tiny ass eyelids to keep, um, to keep them emphasized because if I put too much um, in my crease it'll make them disappear because I have very hooded eyes so and another thing I like to do sometimes and I might do actually is right in here highlight that make that really really light just so it stands out so I have eyelids okay so next my camera is still questionable um, I haven't had a charge in this camera for a long time. Like, it's been sitting down, and that's why it's, um, it doesn't have the chance to get fully charged, and it's just a pain in the ass. So, I can't be on here and, uh, ramble too much, because I don't have the camera battery for it. Okay, so I'm just going to take, uh, Maybelline Eye Studios, uh, gel liner in black. I'm just gonna actually fuck no I shouldn't line my top lid because I never do this right now I normally do my face then I do my lid and lashes but it's okay we'll just do it I'll come back for lashes all right since I have this really pretty colorful thing going on my lids um I don't want to lose that so I'm gonna keep my liner kind of conservative so I'm gonna do a tiny line on my top I'm gonna just extend it just a tiny bit. I'm gonna do the same thing over here. It's kind of hard because one of my eyes is bigger than the other, so I have to kind of make this liner a little bit thicker than this one. It's super weird. I read everyone has one eye slightly bigger, and it's whatever eye is closest to your heart. But I don't know if that's true. I think it is, though. And I think I want to extend just a little flick toward the end. Just to kind of make it, my lashes look like they're thick there. Alrighty, that's all I'm doing for liner. I'm not going to do a bunch of liner. I'm not even going to do a cat eye, which is what I normally do almost every single day, but not today. I really want this colorful shadow to be up front so and I've been trying to wear less, less makeup anyway so um, this liner takes a little bit to dry it never used to it used to dry like instantly but I think they changed the formula because I noticed it's not as creamy and smooth as it used to be which is kind of unfortunate because I used to love this liner and it's not as good as anymore but I'm gonna, I think next time I buy gel eyeliner, I'm gonna get the Physician's Formula Gel Eyeliner because I did use that and I love it and I kind of miss it because I don't know if they still make it this way, but you get like multiple colors. They like come in little cubes and they click together and you get like a black, like a bunch of different, a brown and then like you can buy a set with a blue, a green, or a purple. So yeah, I'm gonna let, well, this is actually drying. It sucks because I've had this happen in the morning. I'll be super tired and I won't let it dry all the way and I'll blink and it'll transfer up and I'll have to fix it and I have work in the morning. It's a pain in the fucking ass. So I've learned my lesson so I know I gotta let this dry. So I'm gonna sweep off the um, powder and I didn't put this powder on to bake. It's strictly um, to catch any under or eyeshadow fallout. So. And as you guys can see, this is what I do with my hi my inner corner highlight. I just like to bring it out just down a little bit. I just think it looks so pretty. It just opens your eyes up. And I think what I'm not going to put any more on the brush. Whatever left on here, I'm just going to blend it. 
And I don't conceal under my eyes because I feel like that's just going to make you have creases. And I feel like that's why so many people on YouTube have these massive under eye creases. Because they put so much concealer and it just sits in there and it gives you under eye lines. And I don't like that. I'm trying to make that not happen. So, what I like to do, I don't have bad under eye circles anyway. But I just like to put like a shadow or a nice light powder and just put it right here and it covers it. I understand if you have crazy um, eye bags, but you know what, I don't mind it because I feel like it makes you look like a human being. Like, you don't need to cover them up completely because I think when you not, you put so much lightness under your eyes, it just makes you look really fake. And if you like that, that's fine, but I just don't want to look super fake. Because I have been down that road and I just I feel better when I look kind of like myself. Only a little better. I don't want to look like a crazy, uh, doll. <laughs> okay. So, for my, um, my contour bronzer, I'm using this Milani, um, number two powder. And I really like this. I like this so much better. This is probably one of my favorite drugstore bronzers that I found. And it's, like, my perfect shade. Cause it's kind of a cooler color. It's not, like, straight up bronze and I think it makes my face look so much better so I'm just gonna do this put some on my five head and cover that up a little bit so I look like I have a normal forehead alrighty and then I'm gonna do um right here my temples just to balance it out a little bit my hollows in my cheeks okay I do that with the hollows in my cheeks and then a little bit under my chin not a whole lot sometimes I'll do this little number because I kind of have a big chin I used to be really big into like super contouring my face to where I look like another person and I don't want to do that anymore I just, I need to, I, I feel like it kind of messes with, you know, your self-esteem. So, I do things a little bit differently. So, and then I take on this little brush right here. You really should use this to do your cheeks, but I don't, I don't like it that much for some reason. And I like to go into my hairline so you don't have, see so have that white gap right here. So, I'll go in my hairline. Get that really good in blended and then whatever I have left on the brush I just slightly I go up here and then down I just use whatever is left to contour my nose because I don't do that weird baking stuff around my nose anymore so it looks natural it just looks a little more uh just looks more even and contoured and all that stuff so alright I'm gonna blend I need to let my camera charge again. This is going to be super fucking annoying, but I'm going to blend all of this together with this kabuki. I'm just going to go blend it. And then um, I'm going to put some powder right here, and I'll be right back. My sleepy doggies. <laughs> okay, so I just blended out that bronzer. I put some powder here, the e.l.f. powder, just because I like... Sometimes when I blend, this line gets too diffused, and then I just put some powder here to sharpen that back up again. Um, I believe it's called veiling, I think is what that is when you do that. And um, I'm going to do, um, while that's setting, I'm going to do mascara, which I'll probably do off camera, but I'll tell you which one it is. And I'm going to do my highlight and my blush now. So, for this is a brush I like to use for my um, highlight. It's like a flat little brush. And I just opened another... Uh, Blossom Glow Highlight. I haven't found a drugstore highlight that I like more than this. I'm kind of on the hunt. I've tried the Maybelline ones, but the one that everyone likes that people say is really go good, like Molten Gold or something like that, it's too dark for me because I'm incredibly white. And I thought this one right here would be really good because it's white and it, you know, but it's just, it's so shimmery. And it's just like putting glitter on my face, so I don't like this one better than this one, so this one still wins. And I also bought, now this highlighter is really pretty, but it's so glittery and it's not quite what I'm looking for. 
but I will use it in the summertime as like a, a body glitter highlight type thing and it's the wet n wild loose highlight this is pretty but it's not what I want on my face it's just when you stand back it looks wet but it's just so glittery and it's gorgeous though like it is very pretty it's gonna look really pretty like on your shoulders and your chest and stuff in the summer so I'm not using that yet because it's still winter time it doesn't quite look right so I'm gonna use blossom glow this is like my holy grail highlight and I in my opinion if you're really pale this is like the best you could probably do at the drugstore I haven't found a better one and I've been looking so if I find something better I'll keep you I'll, I'll update you so I'm gonna do highlight which I like to do a lot of highlight I like to glow I'm one of those people <laughs> that we are super glowy I do have a hard hand with highlight I just love to look really glowy and pretty and I just love it but I know it's not for everyone you don't have to put as much highlighter as I did on obviously <laughs> now for blushes I have so many blushes that are new and I love all of the ones that I bought um so I have I bought this from Profusion, which I have been loving Profusion lately. Like, oh my god, the best drugstore anything that I found. So I bought this blush palette. It is, oh, what number are you? Um, Blush 1. I love all the colors in here, and I might use this. Maybe. I love these. These are so pretty. Um, There's one color in here called Bashful. It is so gorgeous. It's like a light fresh pink color. It's super light and you wouldn't think it would show up but it really does and it gives you like the most fresh look and I might might do that. I'm thinking about doing something a little bit more peachy. Um, but then I got Luminoso from uh, Milani which I love this color. So pretty. Um, there's another one that I want. It's more of a, a coral peachy color. Even more peachy or corally than that. Um, I want to look for that one too. And then I have Dulce Pink, which this is supposedly a dupe for NARS Orgasm, and I've never used NARS Orgasm, but this is really pretty. This is like the prettiest color I've ever put on my face, but it looks really natural too, which is surprising, because you wouldn't think a goldy, pinky color would be natural, but it really does, and this is amazing. Um, and then I got T Rose, which is a more natural blush, and it's a matte blush. But it looks really, really gorgeous on, and I might use this guy, just because the color, my eyes are so colorful. I need something a little bit more matte. And then I might top it with a little bit of this coral color from Wet n Wild. Um, I don't know the name of this. It doesn't have a name. I think it's, oh wait, Pearlescent Pink. This is really pretty, too. I love this. It's a really pretty coral from Wet n Wild. And I might top it with a little bit of this, just to give it a little more corally, pinky, peachy color. So, I think that's what I'll do. So, actually, I lied. I think I'm going to use this color called Delight in the blush number one perfusion palette because I've used this color and it is actually really pretty. Um, it's like a soft peach color, and I want something soft for this look because it's so like colorful. So, I definitely think I might. And it's so pretty, like, you actually do see it. Like, for such a soft blush, it is very pigmented. Kind of surprises me, actually, and it shows up on my skin. But I am very, very, very pale, so. It's just, like, really pretty, youthful color, and I love it. And it's got a shimmer to it, because I didn't want to go fully matte. Um, I did want a little bit of a sheen, and it's got a very slight sheen, so it turned out to be perfect. And I always do the tip of my nose. I just think it looks so cute. So we'll go this way. God, it looks so pretty. It's like so fresh looking. I love it. It's so pretty. Okay, so I'm going to blend that out just a tiny bit. Because I'm like a wild animal when it comes to applying my cosmetics. Like I just... I have a heavy hand. <laughs> okay. I think I just need a tiny bit more right here because I put too much on the other side. 
And then I'm going to do my forehead. Maybe a little bit on my chin just to kind of make it all mesh together. So this is like my natural complexion. Even though it's not. <laughs> okay. So I think what I'm going to do next is... Do I want to do lips or do I want to do lashes? I think I'm going to do my lashes off camera because my camera is just being ridiculous today and it's driving me nuts. So I'm going to put some falsies mascara on. Uh, my upper and bottom lashes. I'm not doing false lashes because I'm not going anywhere crazy today. Um, and then I'm going to do my lips after that. So I'll be right back. Okay, so my lashes are done. I realize my mascara is running out. So I need to pick up a new one. But, you know, it's not my favorite, but I have it. I'm going to use it up. I don't like to have a bunch of mascaras around because they dry out. They get nasty really fast. And I just, I don't like wasting mascara. I have one on hand. And then I, if I want to try another one, I'll like buy it. one after that. But that's the one product I don't hoard. All right, so I'm taking off some of my chapstick because I'm going to do a, I'm going to do lips now. Um, so for lips, I'm going to use this Maybelline lip liner, um, 110 Purely Nude. I'm going to use this, and then I'm going to use Maybelline's Baddest Beige in their, I think this is their Color Rouge line, yeah. Um, this is absolutely pretty, but you need a lip liner because it's very pale, and I want something that's not going to clash with this, like, colorful thing we got going on so I'm gonna I'm gonna line my lips real fast and I'm gonna slightly overline them because I have like really tiny lips so I have like tiny facial features in general like my eyes are tiny my lips are tiny I have like a big face it's just it's not fair okay here we go so that is the lined lips when I line my lips I like to leave this bottom part open just because my lips are so small and I just want it to be lighter there and it kind of opens up my mouth a little bit or my bottom lip <laughs> okay so this color is really hydrating actually it's very shiny um it's so pretty I love this color it's called Baddest Beige and it's a Maybelline Color Rouge lipstick um and it's very pale so you really need a lip liner to help give it some definition so Gorgeous though. If you have like um, a dark smoky eye or something colorful and you want something very natural, I just put that on my hands, <laughs> and you want something really natural to um, just to kind of tie it together but you don't want to erase your lips, um, this color combination is so pretty and I recommend it. It's a very nudie, um, nudie colorful look but you're not completely erasing your lips. So, um, I don't, you don't even need gloss with this. Look how glossy that is. So, I'm not even going to put a gloss. And I've kind of been lately into, like, the whole glossy, juicy lips instead of the matte lip look. I just like it so much better. Alright, so I'm just going to do this little thing so I don't get lipstick on my teeth. But, yeah, I'm going to do it one more time. I always get lipstick on my teeth. I don't know what is wrong with me, but it happens. Okay, so I'm not going to set this just because I am just going to the gym and I'm going to sweat and I don't want to like mess my skin up, but when I do set my skin, I like this Wet n Wild Photo Focus um, Cucumber Water Mist Spray and sometimes I'll spray it before I do my makeup because it is a primer and prep, set, and refresh, so I do like this. I've tried the rose one and this one is really nice too, it smells really pretty. Um, but I like the coconut one because it's like more refreshing. Um, and I like these because they don't sting my eyeballs. I have primer that I've had to get rid of because when I spray it on my face it stings my eyes. But these don't do that. And I have stupidly sprayed these directly in my eyeballs and I've had no problems. So, those are good. <laughs> so, this is the finished makeup look. Um, if you can't see because my camera sucks, I will put pictures up so it looks a little bit better, so, 
yeah I have that purple on the bottom and then I put that green in my crease and then I smudged it with some blue and I have that like really pretty green color on my lips so it's very like blended and like like smoked together so it's not really harsh it is colorful but I think it's wearable so um I will see you guys in another video I'm gonna film another video talking about my art stuff so um yeah I will see you guys in a little bit I hope you guys enjoy the video I have a lot more stuff to come I do want to review actually before I say goodbye I want to ramble just a little bit more and then I'm done so as you guys have seen I've been stocking up on the palettes um I only have two high-end palettes actually so um nothing super fancy um I'm not gonna do I have these wet and wild palettes that I love I'm not gonna oh I might review them oh crap I made a mess with that one but I love those palettes and I've had them forever and I have one Kat Von D palette but I won't get that out right now um so I've really been into these perfusion palettes I have a couple of them I kind of want to do swatches and reviews. That's one thing I want to start doing is doing reviews on makeup because I wear so much of it. Um, I have the Sienna's palette, the Wonderless palette, and the Sultry palette. I want to do reviews on those and do looks with those. Um, they're amazing. And then um, I have three of these little Rimmel palettes. I have the Electric Violet Eyes, which people don't like this on the internet. I don't know why. It's so... Oh, please tell me I didn't fuck up my eye shadows. Okay. Whew. Thank goodness. This one's got... This one's pretty sturdy. I just dropped it on the floor and nothing cracked. Whew. Okay. So, I'm going to talk about this. I just used it. I'm going to do a review on it. I didn't use all of the shadows today. I mixed it with some other shadows, but I like... I like what I came up with. I do enjoy this palette. I will do a review on this palette. The Profusion palettes. Um... Okay, I was talking about this one. I love this palette. It's so pretty. Um, I'm going to do a review on these. I also have the crim no, the Spice, which I love. Um, and then the Magnified Jewel Eyes. I love this one, too. These are... One of them's not very popular on the internet, but the other two are raved about, and they're definitely raved about for a reason. I do love them, and I'm going to do looks with them. And um, this is an older one. This isn't new, so I don't think I'm going to do, do a review on the high-end ones, just because... You know, I'm sure this has been reviewed to death, but if people, if anybody wants to see it, I will do a review on it. I really enjoy it. Um, and then I have a Kat Von D palette that's been around forever, and I'm pretty sure everyone knows about it if they're interested. Um, those are the newer things that I think I've seen in the drugstore that um, I'll do reviews on. Um, so yeah, I want to start doing empties, reviews, maybe hauls. I really don't do a lot of shopping that often. It's just, I accumulated that over a couple months, and I don't want to be, like, stockpiling a bunch of shit, um, but I will get palettes and do reviews and stuff. There's another palette I've been thinking about buying. It's the Hard Candy, uh, I forget what it's called, but it's supposedly a dupe for a really popular Huda palette. I might pick that one up, I don't know. Um, but yeah, I, I want to do more on this channel. I'm super motivated again, so I'm sorry for dropping off the face of the planet. I'm going to go do my hair, make another video, and I will see you guys later. Bye!